I'm going to bring this with me on an upcoming trip soon and I've already had some time to use it on a past trip last year brought it with me on a flight so now that I've had some time to use it I figured this would be a good time to share my thoughts about it this is the Sakura Koi watercolors pocket field sketch box mine is the 24 color set but they also come in like 12 or 36 and on up I did kind of find myself wanting more colors so if I had to buy this again I might get like the 36 color or 48 it has a finger ring thing on the back uh, that you can put your finger in. I didn't really use it that often to be honest and one of you suggested that it can also be comfortable if you put your thumb in the ring versus your yeah it could it could work like that. I actually prefer resting it on a tabletop and painting that way. Also I didn't do much painting with it out in the wild. I still have a problem with like sketching in public. I don't know what it is. I just get really distracted and I only used this when I had time to like go sit down somewhere and paint something I took a picture of. First thing I did was swatch out the colors and put the numbers on them just to have a reference because the colors will look way different when they're dry versus in the palette or wet. This detachable mixing palette is really handy. You can pop it on the left or right side. It's a good idea to clean this before each use because some of the hard paint kind of shows up on your next painting. I do need to clean that before I leave. The sponge things, I read a tip somewhere that you should take these out after use, otherwise they might get a little moldy. I did remove them and let them dry before I closed everything up. Water brush pen was really handy. I didn't have any problems with it. This was also easy to take on a flight through the airport. It's not that much water, and if you don't want to bring the water through the security check, you can fill it with water once you get past that from like the water fountain. In case you're curious on how long this water lasted in this brush pen, I was able to do about two portraits before I needed to refill it. Uh, the brush tip does get stained because it's white, but it's really nothing to worry about. It doesn't transfer on to the next use, and it comes apart nicely and easy and compact. This is also the first water brush pen I've ever used, so I don't have anything to compare it to really, but so far I liked using this. I also read another tip that you can spray the paint with water if you want it to kind of get buttery, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, sometimes you have to like put droplets of water and get the paint to be ready to use. But the paint quality overall I thought was really nice. I was actually surprised at how much I liked the quality of this. And also I've read comments that say they didn't like the quality of this paint. So I didn't know what to expect, but I personally found it a really nice paint to use. The first trip I took this on, I was painting tropical plants on watercolor greeting cards and I painted a lot of them using this palette and I thought they all came out great. The colors were really vibrant. Because this is watercolor, anytime I would put my paper here, the water would kind of run down and I didn't like that so I end up putting my canvas or paper on the side of this and then I just use this little part for reference of the color swatches. I wasn't able to fit much more uh, watercolor paper thickness inside this palette, so don't think that it's something you can kind of shove all your papers into because it won't close if you do. This was super easy to pack because it's so small and really not heavy at all, and I ended up bringing my other stuff like pens or washi tape in a pencil case and it can all fit neatly in my bag. This is the first travel palette I have ever used so I don't have anything else to compare it to but I do find this very fun to use on trips. It fits perfectly on a flight tray so I have all my stuff set up, I can sip my drink and do a little watercolor painting and so this next trip I think I'm going to paint more 
portraits for my patrons. If you didn't know, I have a monthly male Patreon tier. And sometimes I don't always have printed things available to send. So when that happens, I end up painting a bunch of mini portraits to send to my patrons. So I think I'm going to, on this upcoming flight, paint some bouquet portraits. And I think I want to do the size of these little these little watercolor cards. That's a little bit more manageable because I will be painting about 20 of these. They have Flow Max here. I mean, Flow Aid. Look at that. That's the one you're going with? Yeah. Number one liner. Dad. Which paint by numbers that you've done so far is your favorite? The one with the two birds in it. And I like the the one with the two butterflies too. That's it. Do you have a favorite brand? Yeah, uh, the Dimensions okay. company. Even though it can be a pain in the in the rear to mix the paints, the the paint is good quality. They even give you a good brush to work with, even though it's only one brush, but it's a good one. The lines are easy, pretty easy to follow. Go outside the box, <laughs> as it were, and do a little extra to make it special or yours. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's about it.